fight coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop him. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 142 pounds. Big! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Big call to punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just missed with the left there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Beautiful body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. That was a thudding leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, 
knee strike right to the body. And they separate. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Let's go. Get in there, and I want a hard high kick. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, nice. And he landed the right hand there. He's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice head kick. All right, he engages in a oh, single late collar defense tie on here. the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Punch over the top. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Big kick lands. Check that kick as well. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Straight punch lands. It's such a fast leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, crippling knee to the body! Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Already close to the distance, gets the single follow tie. Oh, nice! this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. Jump that round. But you're all right. I'm going to get back out there and put it on him now. It's a little payback time. you got to get aggressive. They're confident. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. And they separate. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. A great punch landing, so much power. Getting the hands going here early. Oh, 
Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Just out of range with that left hook. Going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Yo, guys, work! Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Real quick leg kick. Beautiful strike. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He blocks the punch. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Got the single collar tie. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Pretty significant as well to the left side. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Takedown defense holds up. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, eventually you know he's gonna turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Ooh, big shot lands. Nice body kick. Oh, he continues to land the ball. That is a huge shot there. I mean, if you can hit a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Watch the shot. And just misses with that big right hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them just really picked it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. 
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice punch there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Trying to find a home for that right hand. And potentially a critical takedown here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. So now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Back mount now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. So next with a right. Back to the feet now. Liver kick. Oh, gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has the front of her very bad again. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there, really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. Nice head kick. Right under the elbow, body kick land. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it stop throwing. What a punch. Big leg kick land. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. How about that chin? He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, now. he might be out. That was stuck in. Nice, right? Ooh, blocks the shot. Able to land the left hand there. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Look at the whip action that comes from just throwing that kick. Oh, big left hand there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. 
He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Big punch land. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Big kick land. How good is that right hand? There's no give on that leg. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Just a slip there. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Nice kick. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. What a body kick. Nice kick. Just misses with the straight right. Punch coming, it's blocked. Way to hide that leg kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Kick to the body by the Great punch. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Big body kick. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Right hand on point. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Under two minutes to go. Just unable to quite find that range. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. minute now of round four. Back to his patented kicks here, but just... Oh, there see and one more of those. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made the Back to the feet. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. 
big kick. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you can one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. Leg kick. Well placed with the kick. Wow, he lands another leg kick. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight. But he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready? Fifth and final round. Look at the turnover in that kick. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Now you really are starting to see the damage inflicted by... Oh! He's out! Yo, yo! That was nasty! What a performance! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 29 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, also, most times walk away with a $50,000.